Hello children, I hope all of you are well and safe at home. So students, here we are starting chapter 1 of CA subject. The chapter name is Operating System and Graphical User Interface. First of all, you should know about software. Softwares are programs that can run on a computer. There are softwares which you are using in your daily life or most of the time like MS Paint, MS Word to prepare documents, then Microsoft PowerPoint for presentation, etc. Then comes hardware. Hardware is the physical part of a computer. So these are the physical part of the computers that you can touch. So here are processors, memory modules and the screen, mouse, keyboards, etc. Now the operating system. Operating system translates the binary numbers. Binary language is the machine language that hardware understands. So operating system converts binary language into the language of the software that means the written programs and then display it in a way that we can understand like text, images and sound. So we can say operating system creates an interface between the user and the hardware. Here you can see there are some examples given. So these are all the examples of operating system, Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, Android for mobile, etc. Now what is the need of operating system? Because of operating system, there is easy interaction between the human and the computer. We are able to easily access the computer. Starting computer operations automatically when power is turned on. Then it loads and schedule the programs. It control all input and output. It control program execution. It manage main memory. These are all components of operating system. First of all, users use the software installed on the operating system, but the softwares can be installed on the operating system and then after that hardware comes on which the operating system is installed. So we can see that operating system is an interface between the user and the hardware. Now, the pictorial representation of the component of OS, you can see the hardware examples are given, monitor, printer, RAM, keyboards are there. Then operating system is installed on the computer hardware. Tab only we are able to install other application softwares that we are using in our daily life and then humans can use it. Now we will discuss functions and features of operating system. So it is actually responsible for execution of all types of programs, uh, whether it is a user program or system programs. Okay, so it handles program execution. Then it handles all input and output operations. Okay, all sorts of input that we enter from keyboard, if we point from the mouse, any gesture on the desktop etc so operating system does interfacing in input and outputs then it ma it manipulates all the files on the system like uh, it makes decision related to the storage of all types of data or files that is hard disk pen drive etc now error detecting and handling it detects all types of errors and bugs that occur when we are doing any task on computer then it was allocate all the resources which are connected with the computer accounting it keep track on account of all the functionalities take place in the computer that means all types of errors that are occurring that is occurring etc then information and resource protection so the devices which are connected 
with the computer and all types of information and the computer that is stored will be protected user interface it refers to the part of operating system program device that allow us to enter and receive information there are two types of interfaces text based user interface and graphical user interface so text based user interface is also known as command line interface or command user interface it displays text that means we can enter commands with the help of keyboard now in graphical user interface we can use mouse to click and move buttons icons menus on the screen so this can be explained with the help of diagram this is ex this is example of gui it is windows screen you can see here menus and icons can be accessed with the help of mouse pointer this is command line interface or command user interface this is the screen of command prompt here we can type the commands with the help of keyboard the two user interfaces are gui and cui so here we'll study about the difference so cui is character user interface and gui means graphical user interface in cui user can interact with the applications by making the use of commands we can type the command with the help of keyboard user interacts with the application by making use of graphics that means in gui icons and menus can be clicked with the help of mouse pointer now only one task can run at a time here more than one task can run simultaneously here in cui everything is done by using commands in gui we can point with the help of mouse the example of cui is dos unix etc gui example is windows linux etc advantage of gui over cui the operating system that you are using it is gui based okay that means icons menus pictures buttons are there that you can easily manipulate with the help of mouse so first of all it presents a user friendly mechanism for interacting with the applications uh, they are built from gui components it need more resources and speed is less compared to cui in command line interface the commands are entered from the keyboard it is not user friendly here we cannot remember the commands it is difficult to remember commands and it need less less resources and speed is more compared to gui now we'll study about the types of os so there are different types of os like single user operating system the operating system supports single user at once okay only only one user can use it at once or different time so example is microsoft dos and windows 95 now multi user operating systems allows multiple users to use the same computer at once or different times so here examples are linux unix windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 etc then multi processing operating system they support and utilize more than one computer processor okay So here examples are Linux, Unix, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Now multitasking operating system it allows multiple software processes to run at the same time. 
so the examples again linux unix windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 now multi threading operating systems allows different parts of the software program to run simultaneously so the examples linux unix windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 